watching this video, chances are you've, this subject has been um, on your mind for a long time. So protein, you don't need too much of it and you don't, you don't want too little of it, all right? 0.8 to 0.9 grams of body weight, there's way more than enough. Or you could put anywhere between 120 to 170, even 200, depending on if you're a bodybuilder. But that's, that's about it. Anywhere in that range, that's all you need, okay? I know there's a lot more science out there and all, and I get it, but you know, let me ask you this. How many times do these fucking scientists and all this crazy shit that comes out, you know, that they tell you all these protein needs, but they don't look, they don't look good. You know, why is that? It's just always something, it's always something. What I've done is real, experimentation with my own self. I've been in this game for like fucking almost 20 years now. You know, and what, one thing I've always found is if you have too little protein, you're gonna be sore and you're not gonna recover as well, all right? If you have too much, you know, you're gonna just like, it's just not gonna, it doesn't feel good. You don't, it doesn't cause you to lose more weight. It doesn't, uh, there's no real benefit to it. You know, even with hunger, I know the big thing is, you know, eat more protein for hunger, okay? It's, that, that never really works. I mean, because what re ends up happening is you eat too much protein, your body converts that into carbohydrates. Yes, it has a hard time doing that, but it will, okay? And what's the fucking point? Because protein already raises um, your insulin levels. So it's almost like you might as well just eat the carbs, all right? And with a, and a second point to that where it doesn't make you all that less hungry is with eating more protein it makes you still want to eat more carbs so you might as well just have the carbs and it, you know I get it the thermic effect and all that it, it, trust me it's not that much it really is not it, it, it's not like you're talking about like maybe a 2% difference in fat loss you know over the course of I don't know, whatever. It's, the fact is, it's just, it's so little, you know, you, you might as well, there's no point to eating a shit ton of protein. Not to mention, you, you know, your grocery bill. It's better to just spend, to allocate those money resources to other things, you know, whatever you want that you can think of, but you, you don't need to eat all that protein, all right? It's anywhere between 120 and 200 grams of protein. That's still considered a high protein diet because you gotta remember the, uh, if you remember that, you know, federal government's recommendations is right, anywhere between 60 and 80 grams of protein. So anywhere between 120 and 200, that's high, that's considered a high protein diet. All you need, you trust me, you'll thank me for that. And it doesn't help, higher protein doesn't help with cravings, none of that. All right.